However, one outstanding point that needs to be clarified to the people of South Sudan is that President Salva Kiir is not ready, he is not ready in any way to work again with Riyak Machar in the next transitional period. This is simply because we have had enough of him since 91, in 2013, 2016. All these are problems caused by Dr. Riyak Machar to the people of South Sudan. So, no, so many people lost their lives, so many people are refugees, so many people are displaced, and we don't want that scenario to repeat itself again. So His Excellency President is, is saying, yes, uh, Riyak Machar is welcome, he's a South Sudanese citizen, he can come to South Sudan, but he will not be working with him in the would-be transitional government of national unity. If Riyak Machar is for peace, really, he should even be the person to convince himself and say, I have done enough damage for my people, and as such, I should distance myself and give peace the chance. So uh, the fact that President Salva Kiir is saying yes, yes for peace, but not, not to work with Riyak Machar again is a statement of fact, because we don't want to have another J1. We don't want to have another fight. And the people of South Sudan now, and Juba in particular, are actually scared. And they are saying, if Riyak Machar comes back to Juba again, we are, leaving, we are deserting Juba. We don't want Juba to be deserted. We want the government of South Sudan to continue. And uh, we want our people to continue to live in peace and harmony. And uh, Riyak Machar to wait for elections. This is our position. For the sake of peace, you can, you can agree with anybody. What Riyak Machar has done to the people of South Sudan, he may be forgiven but cannot be forgotten. So if, if, peace will bring, if that will bring peace to South Sudan, then President Salva is ready for that. It is not Salva to forgive him, but the people of South Sudan, that will forgive him, not President Salva. Because the damage he did, he did not do it to Salva alone, but did it to the people of South Sudan. And they are the ones to forgive him. President Salva, when he ag agreed to that, Salva, that Riyak Machar should come here, the agreement with him, between him and the Prime Minister was that as soon as they finish the meeting, Riyak Machar goes back to, his, to, to South Africa. But as of now, the, his status seems to be under discussion now by the summit, so we will know what is the final position of the summit. But our position has been that uh, if not so, then the, the decision of the, of the regard heads of state and government should be implemented, and that is... He could, if he's not going to South Africa, then he should be in one of the states which is not a member of IGAD and not neighboring South Sudan. This is it. But for him to be here, I think that will not be in favor of peace for South Sudan.